Hey there, friends. Welcome into another episode of the Subscription Web Design Podcast. Hey, look, at, I'm going to keep this one pretty short for you because I'm still feeling pretty under the weather. And so I hope you can forgive me for that. But I still want to provide you with some value. So two big things that I want to say. One is Merry Christmas. Uh, I am an unashamed celebrator of the Christmas holiday, and I'm very, very excited to be coming into the holiday season. And uh, I love Christmas. It is an amazing time of year celebrating the amazing birth of Christ. And uh, if you don't know him, then I would invite you to explore that relationship today. Uh, come to know Christ. He's an amazing person. He's changed my life. And I know he can change yours too. So I just want to say Merry Christmas. The second thing is I, I do want to provide you with some value here and help you think through something. The question comes up, should you ever offer holiday sales? Should Christmas sales, Black Friday sales, you know, are these the kind of things that a web designer uh, should be offering in their business? And I want to just provide you a little bit of direction on that. Um, this is more telling you what to think than how to think, uh, admittedly. But just based on the self-reflection that I've done, this is the uh, conclusion that I've come to. So there is a chance that if you were to discount the core services that your business uh, depends on, there's a chance that discounting those services um, could devalue them, uh, could, could make them be seen as a commodity, as something that at other times of the year, you're inflating the price on a little bit to be able to offer this kind of sale. So you definitely don't want to come across as a uh, commodity on those core services that you're offering. But there's got to be a way, right, for a, a company like ours, like a traditional sort of web design company, to be able to take advantage of holiday offers and holiday sales and things of that nature, right? So uh, there are two really big things that I would say are your saving grace here. And those are bundle offers and add-ons, okay? Um, in marketing, there's this concept of creating an offer. And uh, creating an irresistible offer is usually what it's called. There's books on this you can get that I would highly recommend you grab. And creating the irresistible offer has to do with putting so many things together and then you can uh, sort of discount the price on the full bundle deal together in order to make it seem more worth it. Um, and nobody has to know if you're discounting the core service or, or, or the add-ons or whatever internally. It doesn't really matter. But it's a way for you to offer. So maybe you create... I'm just making it up here off the top of my head, the web design Christmas special, right? And it includes your first year of web design and includes so many extra add-ons and offer a bundle deal of X. And that might make the add-ons only add a little bit of cost to the web design uh, pricing, whereas before it would have added a lot more. And maybe you could afford to do that for that first year and then later on carry it from there. Again, I know I'm being kind of vague. You're going to have to think about how this could work in your business. But you know, think about additional things that you could add to the client experience and discount those things and put them as part of a bundle in order to uh, save. Additionally, if you didn't want to bundle them, if you just wanted to treat them as add-ons, then you could do that. You could say, look, it's, it's at, for this period of time from now until January 6th or whatever it is, you could, um, you could say that you could add on this bundle for only 50% uh, of the, of the cost. whereas um, you know, you might have to uh, pay the full price any other time of the year. So those are some examples. So should you ever offer holiday sales? Yes, but I don't think you should necessarily discount your core services if you can help it. I think those should always be seen as the premium value, as they're not a commodity. They're the price they are for a reason, and they stay that way. But there's other things that you could do and ways that you could bundle deals together to create good offers and good deals for your people. Um that I think could make a lot of sense and would allow you to take advantage of the holiday seasons and create sales and generate some more revenue for your business. All right. Merry Christmas, you guys. Thank you so much for being a listener to the Subscription Web Design Podcast. Very excited about the future, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.